We are going to be cutting a floor joist. The first thing you gotta do is support it. So I've got uh, two by six, just scrap wood, put it on the dirt here, we're in the crawl space. And I did that on both sides of where I'm gonna be cutting. And then I cut some uh, two by four scrap a little bit long. Uh, this happened to be 29 inches. And then hit it with a hammer. Uh, so now it's pushing up on this side here, as well as this side here, so that when we make a cut, inside of this mark, uh, the other side will still be supported because otherwise this would fall down on us. Next step that I'm gonna do is actually make the cut. So I'm gonna use a speed square to get a straight line going down the floor joist on either side. We got the floor joist cut on either side. Can't see this one because I've already uh, put these uh, blocks in the way, but these are the double joist hangers. These guys are already fastened on this side. And then once I get it lined up where I want, I'm gonna tighten up these guys and throw in those screws. Um, same thing with this one right here, just cause I barely have any room to work with. But uh, right here, it'll be a lot easier. Here is the finished product. So we've got our double two by eight uh, blocking put in place here. This was the original floor joist. And then we've got our joist hanger installed. And we also have a two by eight uh, single joist hanger right here to take the original load uh, and transfer it to these two blocks and then out to these other two floor joists. So that's installed. Again, double joist hanger for these two guys to transfer that load down to there from this guy. And that's the exact same story on this other side. Double two by eights, hangers. And then we've got the joist hanger here also for that original uh, floor joist. So now if we come underneath, I can take my handy dandy hammer and when I knock off this thing this should be supported because the weight will go into these two joists instead so we'll see so that's supported and then this guy right here same story and there you go so that's how we do it and now we can install a shower pan